Yeah, that's right. I have maxed up the volume on it. I can barely hear anything. Oh, I have to fight all of them again! The action time in your mom is 34. Oh, that makes sense. Here's the right Paper Mario title. And I looked at the previous stream I did of Paper Mario yesterday, and it turns out I chose the wrong Paper Mario. I chose the original one. Um, actually timing in, a, a because his mom is born 2044. I see, I see. Now I can hear. I had to adjust the earbud so I can hear the game. Ah. So she's a little older than the sound you got. I mean, technically I could do that. Oh, I bet. After everything you told me about the older Hyman and stuff, I feel like Hyman action gives Asagi, like, a good life. Plus, it basically turns into some sort of, like, generic harem, mainly because of how, uh, you can have intimate, uh, reactions to literally every time. And I like that. I like that type of stuff. Like I said in the previous stream, I'm very good at it. Why? 
There we go. Give me all of the good stuff. Give me all the star power. Well, hold on, there we go. Give me all the star points. I need to level up as best I can for literally the final boss. Alright, sure, bitter happy. I saw happy in it, I'm like, okay, fine. I'll have that. What is it, Rick? Tell me. Explain it to me. Please give me, please name drop, please rip, please. Ah! Mizuki Shirinu. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be Mizuki Yukikaze? Wait, no, Yukikaze is the last name. Yeah, yeah, that's right, in Japan. Yeah, that's right. They do that thing where it's like, oh, they call people by their last name. I'm fine with that. Done. You sent it to me on this side. Cool. Thank you for that. I'll just push this and then. Whoa. There we go. Yes. Shine sprite. You need the visual. I want to see how horny. <laughs> You want to see how your your how your horny self will ruin a character? What the heck? Bad, Rit. Don't do that to a character. What did the character ever do to you? Oh. Oh, what the? <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> That's like self-inflicted pain, though. Not gonna lie, I can relate. <laughs> I can see that. I can relate. It's just like really weird and messed up and funny. <laughs> oh, Mr. Softener. Oh, decreases the defense. Power plus. Good morning, good morning. Oh, yeah, this is how you know it's doppel. 
Croc? What happened to those weirdos who were just here? Ah, whatever. Yeah, it was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one know his real name, locking me up in here just because I know it, and making me guard the name's stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker. Dupless, you're a big meanie. When's feeding time, huh? Croc's <laughs> Uh, pretty merry, pretty merry. Well, I thought I was Doppel. It's Dupless. I realized something. I kept saying Doppel because of the Monster Girl in Monster Masumi Everyday Life with Monster Girls. Oh, I, I confused Doppel with Dupless. Oh my god. Doppel's way better than Dupless. Ah, a key that opens a door to some room? Oh, wait, isn't it this room? Oh goodness, right? <laughs> we heard that! We heard you, little birdie. Dupless! That's his name! Now, let's get your name and body back from that meanie, and we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. What is this? Well, first, let me just unlock this. Things so much easier. Was that in the original? I don't think that was in the original. Oh, that makes things so much easier. <laughs> they can smash on the table. I mean, you will see some poop no matter what. Oh, okay, that's fair. They can smash on the table. Hey, listen. If they're as horny as you make them out to be, that's a possibility. Hey Slick, time to cancel your magazine subscriptions, cause you're getting erased. But first, please amuse me with one more guess. It really gives me joy to watch you squirm in futility as you try to guess my name. So, hit me one more time. Alright, now I can do it. What? What did you just say? It can't be! No, 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 no! Why? 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 Oh, I'm feeling faint! Oh yeah, for sure. Dupla's about to burst. Now it's our turn! Let's get your name and body back. Where would he go to hide? In the same place where we went to face him the first time? any video game character. I have to think about this. Oh my gosh, I would have to think about that. The first thing that comes to mind would be... It would be Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles. That's the first one that comes to mind. Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles. And the reason is, because uh, I would end up with two hot bodacious babies. <laughs> I would end up with Pyra and Mithra. 
Bro, I don't know if you know much about Xenoblade Chronicles, Rip, but at the end of Xenoblade, no, during Xenoblade Chronicles 3, or at the end of it, you see a picture, and Rex had three, has three wives, essentially, I'm like, dang. Dude, like, in the picture, I, I forget, like, I think Zeke and Pandora for sure ha had a child, for sure. But Rex had Nia, Pyra, and Mithra, and I was like, dang! <laughs> Pretty much right. I was like, dang! <laughs> Making me a bit jelly, not gonna lie. <laughs> If I wasn't, like, so chained to my morals, I'd be like, I wish I would have three, uh, wives. Well, funny, fun story, Rit. I don't know if you know this, but it's a Japanese article that I learned from Joey from Trash Taste. I saw it earlier this year. It's about, a, it's about a dude that wants to beat the Guinness World Record of the most kids conceived. And the most kids conceived in Japan right now is like a shogun back in, like, like past had like 32 kids or something like that. In modern day, this dude has like, what, four wives and three girlfriends? And he wants to make like 30, he wants to get have 33 kids to beat the Shogun. And when asked why this guy is doing it, the man simply said, I like girls. That's essentially it. I'm like, whoa. The thing is, he's a stay-at-home dad. And I do not know how this man did it. I don't know how high this man's risk skills are. But the wives and the girlfriends are fine with this setup. They're fine with this arrangement. It's insane. I was like, whoa, it's a crazy insane article. You can read it online. The guy who wants to beat the Guinness World Record of most kids conceived. Jesus. Superguard in your face. Huh? You're not that depraved as well. You're not that depraved in the as in like having like multiple partners, like polygamy or something. You know. Like, what do you mean by this? By depraved, Missy? Perfect, that's where I needed to be. You know, I really should save up and get another pair of headphones because I'm starting to realize that my earbuds that I have right now aren't it. <laughs> I probably should save up and just buy like a headphone from GameStop or something, like a cord corded game, like headset. I'll probably do that Friday because I got paid Friday. Hey, you again, hey Slick? You're pretty stubborn to follow me all this way here. Fine, fine, I see. I get it. Let's just put an end to this, shall we? All right, kids, put on your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo! It's a me! Sure thing, Mario. We're right there with you. 
because Fate couldn't take this on his own, so he teamed up with the three minus two shadows. <laughs> well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain Gonzalez style, Shadow Guy. Very good, my little ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario? Right? Oh, yeah. Mario? They gotta saw your name and body as Mario? That means you're Mario? Yeah, actually. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies. Yeah, I am. I actually am on my own. <laughs> I have to deal with my, like, my partners. Yuck, 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 yuck. See? Your friends ditch you because you don't have this charisma of me. Super Mario! Alright, well... If that's the case... Why the curse with the good panels if I say... Refusal line? Yeah. Would the other voice do it? What voice? Sorry, I'm just, which voice are you talking about? Ah! Oh, zero! I had three defense! No, the, the refuse not being Mario... I got confused, I'm sorry. I lost contact. Were you denied being Mario? Denied- Oh, oh! Oh, that's- <laughs> Yeah, the refuse- That's what you mean, the other- uh, The other dialogue choice. Okay, the refusal line. No, I'm not! <laughs> um... If you had- If I had chosen that, I'm pretty sure Vivian still would have connected the dots. She's not dumb. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna have fun with this. What? What? Damage? Yeah, that's right. You guessed my name and now stuff hurts sometimes. Sometimes? Oh, you're doing multi-bomb. I'm just taking all the hits. What's going on? Yeah! <laughs> Dizzy! I'm... I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. I... I've made my choice, and I'm not turning back. Alright... Uh, right? Vivian's, like, such a great character. Ten damage! Bro, power lift be doing st- Oh. Oh. Alright, let's do Shape Fist. Mario! Don't let your guard down, okay? Ah, oh, come on, I'm trying to super guard. There we go! Alright. Hey, that's what we're talking about. Well, your bell is frozen. Try to do this to the great Super Mario. How dare you! Come on, I wanted to try and super guard Mario. For duplicity. Don't 
worry, Dupless. I'll get you out of here. Whoa, really? Already? Bro, power lift is something else. No. Why? How? Thank you, Japanese role-playing games. Because now, I'm making use of all my items in my original runs of Favorite Mario Thousand Year Door on GameCube. I didn't take advantage of power lift and all that stuff. Eek! Mario! Oh, come on. Give me 30 star points at least. Cool, I got 20, but I wanted 30. is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario? Did we get shell -wit? How could we ever mistake our dear Mario for another? You have our deepest apologies. So who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the three shadows you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair it with one of those creeps? Well, I, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, Mario. Thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario. Sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. Vivian has really joined your party now. This is for you. Hey, that's fair, Rit. Your star power is now five, and Mario learned the special move, Art Attack. <laughs> Call you a Ghostbuster, that's pretty funny, Red, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Mario defeated the rogue who had stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has four crystal stars, but it leaves a mere three more to find. That means his quest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over! Now Mario heads off toward his next adventure with his new friend, Vivian. But what about Belda and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger, Dupus? Wait. Yeah, that's right! Vivian is so very late! Where has that scattered Britain been all this time? Gah. And I feel like you can kind of guess, but uh, Dupless kind of joins the Shadow Sirens. <laughs> or the Three Shadows, as the game calls them now. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Speak up, x not. <laughs> yes, sir. Quite sure. I poured over all our research of the Thousand Year Door, and it appears the Serum Power has definitely been weakening, as Belden said. <laughs> Finally, the treasure of legend, the ancient power of darkness, will soon be ours. <laughs> listen, and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star Search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that metal scum. Got it, sir. Soon, I will have the power that has slept for a millennium. So very soon. When that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the x not regime, and then I, Grotus, will build a new world. Shred and tear? Are you talking about, like, a uh, uh, Doom? Like, Doom guy's thing? Like, from the comics, or the book or series, where it's like, Shred and tear, or something like that? A perfect, ideal world. Yes. A world made by me, about me, and for me. Gak, 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 gak. It's an indie game? With waifus? <laughs> Not really. Is it one of those, like, is it kind of like Muse Dash? Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I... I am conflicted. Hack and Slash? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Wait, is it the one where... Oh, freak, uh... I may have, I'm, I'm, I start, I remembered a game. I don't remember the name to it, but it sounds like that. There's like a chick with 
big sword or something. It's like 2D, th 2D, 3D graphics or something like that. Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. She's in a mecha? Okay, it's never mind. It's not what I think. Which is more important, carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do. Really? What do you mean? No. No, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let us have a quiz. A quiz? That is right. I'm about to ask you a series of questions. Please choose the correct answer among the options. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? The thousand year door opens? Correct. Now, the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the X Nauts? To conquer the world. Correct. Now, the third question. Oh, I'm interested. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the Thousand Year Door? Tech, is this? Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the Thousand Year Door? A thousand year old demon soul. Correct. Now, the fourth question. What does Sir Grotus wish to do with this ancient demon soul? <laughs> Hang out with it! <laughs> Bring the demon back to life. Correct. Now, the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? Crystal stars. Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Tech. You... Is it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. The maker is Lucid Realm Games. Oh, thanks for name dropping. Uh, okay. I'm done. Could you send it? The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the room. Thank you. You're still a weird computer tech. Good night, Princess Peach. My lord! I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Blitzville. That's right, the cheap blimp there. Come now. You there. Two tickets. One great and evil king and one sweet young thing. Good, good, good gravy! B Bowser! The evil king? And a deluded old hag? I... Oh, uh, life's too short! Then jumped up for reals. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you! Impudent little cheapskate. Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this, baby! I stuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride in the blimp, Grandma. Wait! Lord Bowser, please! Aww. Now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag candy lunch will go to waste. Huh? A 
warning light? Oh, don't tell me. Bro ran out of gas. to get those last couple blocks. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> I wonder I wonder if I can play these Bowser levels again. They'd be so much fun to do. all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? <laughs> Swimming. Really? Neat! As for me, Blitzville was fantastic! The fights were so cool! I was overcome by even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me! And then, the hot dogs, oh my gracious! Yummerly! You have fun too? Bowser, is that a new? It was terrible! You hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper! I wanted to have fun! But forget it, it's over. Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars. Now! What a sourpuss. <laughs> hey, it was self-inflicted! <laughs> I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? Nah, not really. You're a bigger man than I am, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario, you need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit any time you like. Mario, sounds like you got an email. Uh -huh. My dear Mario, I have finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The x plan to use its power to take over the world. 
They're collecting. <laughs> I glanced over and I see Mario Vibrator and I'm like, really, Red? <laughs> They collect the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door and unseal the demon's spirit. Those same crystal stars can also be used to reseal it. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans, Princess Peach. Hey, that's fair. And I accept you for who you are, and I mean that, Rit. You're precious. And ancient demon spirit? You low-level scum, I ain't dealing with you. Yeah, I mean it. I enjoy, like I said before, I enjoy our conversations. It's funny. It's fun. Not funny. Well, it is funny and fun. Oh my gosh, I just realized. Oh my gosh, I need to go back. I need to go back. I need to go back. I just realized. I literally just realized. I was, I was literally, I was literally in the area to... Wait, hold on. Yeah, I was literally in the area on the way... Oh, yeah! Wait. Isn't the one where the sh there's a shine sprite? Ah! Oh, fudge. Well, I can't. I want another Paper Mario game just like this. Alright, got a star piece. Not bad, not bad. I wonder if they're going to put a new game plus. If they do put a new game plus for this, I'm going to lose my freaking mind. I'll be like, alright, fine. I'll do it. Like, just like how Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story had a new game plus. I think Mario & Luigi Dream Team also had a new game plus, too. Nah, 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 nah. Now I can do this thing here. Yeah, I can see that with how horny you are in like in chat. I'm just like, yeah, no. <laughs> it's like a like an e like a like a freaking evil doer comes up, says, "I have a sword," and it's like, "Would you like to put it in my sheath?" And I'll be like, ah, <laughs> be like Fuma in time and in action, or action time would be like, ah, come on. <laughs> Got spike shield. Oh yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. Honestly, I feel like it'd be the funniest time in it to like uh, to vote for it. Out of like, if we had, if there was like a favorite, like which time in it is your favorite, I'd probably vote for you because I feel like you'd be really funny as a time in in the time in universe. Just because from your response just now, just like long or short. It's like, come on! Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, shucks. Oh my gosh, Red. You and your antics. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> so many. <laughs> I feel like that's an understatement. <laughs> Would you consider them bad ends or good ends? <laughs> Would you like to be mine, bro? Because if so, then you'd have those bad ends would immediately turn into good ends. <laughs> I like how in this variant of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, all of your partners thus far are here. It's really nice. Dang good ending that are wholesome. <laughs> what are those? All I have are bad ends. Come the freak on.
We'd better hurry, don't you think? We should go up to the professor's office. We have to let him know about the princess's email. Oh, yeah. Oh, the one you showed me? The giant bazooka timing in? Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> that was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. Those fiends want to use the crystal stars to open the thousand year door and resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? Hmm. This is rather long, so you'd best listen well. Are all of you ready? And you there! In front of the screen. You listen up too! Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never you mind! Don't worry about the trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that destroyed the city which once stood here, many will refer to this demon. It said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by that monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to legend, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes, but only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So, the heroes used the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon, and they sealed its wicked spirit within the Palace of Shadow, locked behind the Thousand Year Door. From this, I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish the good from evil, and so, if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they use for evil or good. I guess we ought to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. Does anyone think it might just be better to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There is a slight probability that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Oh, then I guess we'd better find the rest of the crystal stars if you want to seal that demon, huh? Where do we start? Hmm. According to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keel Hall Key. Keel Hall Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff, vengeful spirits, full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. We should head there first. Here it is. I'm after an elusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Roadport Square. This poster is anonymous. This may be dangerous. Want to take on this trouble? Yes. Hey, Red! Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're eating bagels again? What types of bagels? In what types of... Uh, They're preparing right now? Okay. Read that as babies for a sec? Bro! Red a cannibal? I'm playing. Anyway, um... What is the word? The, to the topping, you know, like, what, did you put cream cheese on it? Jelly? Condiment! That's the t I literally forgot the word condiment. I was like, what do I say here? <laughs> topping? Yeah, that's what I'm- that's what it is. No matter how much of oh, there's got to be a way to just go poof and get rich, you know? Poof! Ah, this is that one dude ship. Oi, you! With the mustache! What's with the stink eye, eh? You got something to say? Right, then ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia, I am. I can answer anything. Oh, he all key. Listen, mate. <laughs> Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. See that ship dock there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. 
You don't say that too often, though. Mostly he hangs at Podley's joint in by the square. Heel Hall Key? That's that cursed island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake. Heel Hall Key? You know the island where the treasure hoard of Cortez, the pirate king, is hidden? So, you want treasure, eh? Fine, but keep an eye out for the pirate curse will get you. What? Heel Hall Key? Oh, that place is absolutely awful, I think. Not long ago, ship after ship went there hunting treasure, but none ever returned. I bet they met the bad end of the Pirate King's curse. Those guys were dumb. Got 40 games today. Watch Dogs 2 is the new Pac-Man. Oh, awesome. Wait, wait, which Pac-Man? Is it classic Pac-Man or like the, the 3D platform of Pac-Man? Pac-Man and Shinobi. You know the game Shinobi? I... It rings a bell. It rings a bell. Just the classic. It... Is it one of those, like, hard hack-and-slash games? Because it rings a bell. I feel like I've heard it before. Yeah, I'm Torque. Don't for a second think this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I landed on my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it! Idiot! I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. Well, I headed to Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty exciting, bro. Wanna hear what happened? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they hold kart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the award ceremony. You couldn't believe my eyes! Right there, on the trophy they give to the winner. It was another piece of the Marvelous Compass! I almost passed dead away! I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in kart races before, so I thought it'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out of there pronto. These drivers were crazed. But I worked up my courage and signed up anyway, and my race day finally came. I got one of the best carts, the big green 01. I took a position at the start line. Flight went green, stopped the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse! The big green 01 went rocketing backwards with me yelling. It crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut me off mid-screen. In one fell swoop, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. All the other carts crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece off my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me toward Jazzafaz Town in the east. Then I heard that voice. Princess Eclair's voice echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess. Random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that. Baby. Um, so after that, I got back in my boat and came back here to Rogueport, and that's what's been up with me. Uh, so Shinobi is an old arcade game. Wasn't it ported onto like Switch or something? And what do you want? Uh, who? Me, you ask? About? Ah, I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogueport. Monetary wealth gives me freedom. Yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more, ah? Huh? What is missing from my life? This tears at my very insides. I must know. What do I lack? Romance, definitely. Romance, you say, ah? Huh? I suppose one does need some little romance in life. What other sweet, delectable food could make so many wonderful pasta tests? <laughs> ah, no! Foolish Flavio! Not romance, you silly man! What I need is romance! Wait, hold the horses. That is it!
Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the pirate king. Yes! This is the answer! Oh, such happiness for me! A hunt for pirate treasure! Why, that just reeks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money! Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure? Hidden on Keel Hall Key? Ah, well, the tale say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of a Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. <laughs> it is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Keel Hall Key. But that will not stop Flavio! That treasure is there! Yes! And I am going to prove it! For I am Flavio, traitor extraordinaire! Millionaire, sailor of the seven seas! What is that you are saying? Talk of a legendary treasure? Here, beneath Rogueport! Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no! Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Oh, well, head it over! Rather, I mean, uh, show me! You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Keel Hall Key! You swine! You mean to steal my treasure out from under me! You awful, awful man! Well, now I am confused. You are looking for things known as the Crystal Stars? But now that I am thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash? Yes, that would be... Ah! Stop such stuff, Swabio! What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion! I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work! Flavio shall go with you to Keel Hall Key! Of course, the Crystal Star is yours! Yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine! Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship. <laughs> you unfortunate, foolish man! Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious! Splendid, splendid, splendid! Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Oh, that's really sweet. You and your dad used to play, like Shinobi. Oh, you've never beaten it? Just put on two leftover pizza. Oh, kind of nice. What type of pizza, pepperoni? Uh, my personal favorite pizza is like three meat pizza from like Sam's Club. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I've failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair, and that much I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? Let me see what I got. This pineapple, ham, pepperoni, mushroom. Oh, that sounds good. I know people has, re has reservations about that, but that honestly does sound good. I have damage dodge. Shrink stop. Oh, I have one of those? Alright, I have one power rush partner. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm not even... Okay, hold on. Uh, Power rush partner. Unsimplifier. Power Rush. Um, sleepy Stop. I already have that. I don't have Head Rattle. 150 for Head Rattle? Nice. Uh, let's stand. Close Call Partner? Super Appeal. I don't have Super Appeal. Okay. Alright, cool. I just need one of each. Alright? Alright, so I've started the trouble for this mouse. So I can get two partners in one chapter. 
so it's Miss Nows, because you can only get Miss Nows after Chapter 4. Ah, yes, so it is you, ah? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But keep your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavian, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast of the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this ship, this proud ship can. Ah, yes, uh, did you speak? Yes, 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 of course. The problem then has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavian, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off. The dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Keel Hall Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a, how you say, a pickle? Oi, Flavio! Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve our problem and spit it out already. Well, sir, I have heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in Rome for it. Yeah, I think it's called Admiral Bobbery. A salty old sea dog, by all accounts. But he said to have the helmsman's touch, sir can make any ship bow to his will. The thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the seas of late. That's a boom! Problem solved. Let us scout out the Bobbery fellow and get him on board, and I kicked my water bottle. As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? Then it is decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Alright, well, I know where to go. Oh, pizza's done? Now you just need the bagels? Alright. What the... Do you have, like, any toppings you're gonna put on it? Or are you just gonna eat just, like, cooked bagels? Just cheese and butter. Used to be pineapple on pizza here until recently. Yeah, no, I've had pineapple on pizza since I was a kid, so I always thought it tasted great. Come on. Just cheese and butter. Not American cheese. Okay, why well, do you have to specify not American cheese? What do you gotta give us American cheese, huh, buddy? Huh? The other day, I saw this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing. But you know, actually, he might have been a bandit. Maybe that's why he was sneaking into chimneys. There we go. Oh, there it is! There's the shine sprite. Yay! Oh, you can go left and right. That's right. Oh shoot, who are you? Good afternoon to you, sir. I am called Grifty, the traveling minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Rogueport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will require just a few points. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. Oh shoot, I'm gonna do I'm a calorie surplus right now. Oh, you're eating more than what you burn? Put on two bagels, I don't think I'm gonna eat all that. Ah, bro, Red, don't waste food. <laughs> For a mere five coins, I can share with you the tale of all becomes legend. 
After the demon was sealed within the palace of Shaq, many refused to come near that place of terror. But as the years passed, entire generations forgot. The emptiness in the world began to congregate in this once barren place. This place soon became a populous harbor of the town of Rogueport. Some even began to say that the underground city held a legendary treasure. But they were unaware that the demon slept with them still. There is another tale you wish to hear, just ask. Ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor, but it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a great calamity befell the city, but nay, twas a demon. The city sank below ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land. And its den, its palace, grew rich with the treasures stolen from all over the world. There is another tale. I won't, you won't waste it? Okay, that's good. Don't shove it down or go to the dog. Oh, you have a dog? I don't know if you talked about it, but your dog's green. In order to increase its already formidable power, the demon created crystal stars to hold the essence of the heavens. If these stars were scattered across the land, the better to exert the demon's influence. One of the castles built to contain these stars still stands near Petal Meadows. There's another O. Oh. The Hero Who Arose. One day, there came a hero who could vanquish the fell demon. The young toad from Petal Meadows was strong of arm but shy of voice. All those around the boy teased him endlessly about the way he spoke. But when the demon cast its fearful gaze across the lands and reached out, the young toad used his strength and honor to defend his people, and he became a hero to all despite his odd voice. Short is pretty funny. Oh, is it the one where I said where it's labeled I pooped my pants? The wise Goomba. There was a wise Goomba from Bobby Woods, gifted in knowledge of the world. When the beast grows to take the woods, this knowledge helped the people fight them. And this Goomba, who knew the way that every monster would attack, she began to think of a way to banish all monsters from the land. Oh yeah, well I'm glad you found it funny, that was the point. Um, I heard that pickup line from a YouTube short from Monarch, the virtual team. It was her collab with Risa from Hololive, and they were talking about pickup lines, and the pickup line that lived rent-free in Monarch said was the one that I put in that short. I, I thought it was really funny, so I was like, sure, why not? The stalwart Koopa. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna make another short tomorrow, and it's gonna be a, over the second pickup line they said in that short. It's really funny. A Koopa who traveled the world alone learned of the darkness covering the land. He went alone wherever evil dwelt and banished it with shell and sheer bravado. The monster grew to fear this star-riddled Koopa who thwarted them at every turn. But the brave Koopa was finally taken in a trap set for him by the monsters. But then a boo who fought with the monsters came and used her magic to free him. The brave Koopa's spirit had melted the heart of the cold blue lass. What? Necrophilia? What? Huh? The four heroes. So there was a... A hero, there was a toad, a Goomba, a Koopa, and a Boo. The Boo used her powerful magic to learn more about the evil they face. We cannot destroy this darkness alone, she decided, her face a grim mask. We need the toad hero of Petal Meadows and the wise Goomba of Bodley Woods. The Boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so, the four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. There is another oh. Hmm. What, the pickle point? The duel with the demon. The power of the world-devouring demon was greater than any could imagine. The wise Goomba soon realized that this was the power of the crystal stars. She thought of a way to take the stars and use them against the demon. She told the other heroes her plan and set it in motion, banishing their fears. The Boo's magic and the toad strength created a gap in the demon's defenses. At that moment, the brave Koopa seized the stars and succeeded in badly damaging the demon. Oh. The demon's with the 
but even the Brain Keeper's stroke was not enough to end the demon's reign. The wise Yuba thought of another use for the crystal stars in that dire hour. She suggested sealing the demon forever with the crystal stars. All agreed. The heroes matched their strengths with the power of the crystal stars, and they successfully sealed the demon's soul within the deepest part of the palace. Together, they made it so that only all seven stars could break the seal. Okay. If, there, if ever there is a tale you wish to hear, just ask. Alright. Hey, Bobbery! What do you blokes want? You seek Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the gym. Take your search elsewhere. Now, away with you. After I take away your shine spray. How many? I have six. Someday. Alright. <laughs> I wonder where Bobbery is. I bet lots of rumors flow through Cogman's place. How about we try asking him? Yeah, that's right. I was like, how do I do it again? Because I, I have to get a letter of Bobbery's late wife and, like, give it to him. Because Bobbery's still grieving over his late wife. Because if you guys didn't know, Bobbery's wife's dead. Spoiler alert. Admiral Bobbery? Yeah. Yeah, I know him. You know that house just past the wall in the eastern part of town? That's his. And I think both you and he would be better off if you just let him be. just past the wall in the eastern part of town. That's why the professor. Let's ask him. idea of what you're talking about. Now, if you please, drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bobbery. <laughs> what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job? Hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I should set sail upon the sea. Never more! But that's just not cool! You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Keel Hall Key. <laughs> Awfully sorry, dear fellows, but when I say no, what I mean is no. <laughs> What's the next move, Chief? The salty dude is going nowhere fast. Can't figure this guy out. Let's just beat the ocean anyway. Know what we gotta do? Go find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. Yeah, back to Podley. Podley should have a letter. won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? <sighs> is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keel Hall Key. Broke seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. He'll probably end up crying. I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do. I can take it. What mindless drones? In that case, get ready. 
Bobri's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobri was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobri was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobri's return. And Bobri, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things could last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. I guess it's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all know his tale now. So, tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Yes. We have no choice. Very well. I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Yeah, some, there are points in time where it gets pretty dark. An old letter. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, Podley, thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez. Where the freak is Bobbery? He's in the house next to Professor Frankly. He literally lives next door to Professor Frankly. Freak. He didn't get this because Podley's a coward. Good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rit. I, I I agree, but still, Rit. <laughs> What? Oh, by Blabberton's beer, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you! He did. Pardon? A letter? You say? For... for me? <laughs> what? Scarlet! This is Scarlet's handwriting! Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love is a time. You are one with the sea as you are one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Yeah, it does hurt. <laughs> Gonna jump the part. Don't! Come on, Podley's been taking care of Toadsworth. Time, like a love, is a time. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone with you, please? A mercy trainer? Oh my gosh, Rit. You have like a vendetta against the bartender, even though the bartender didn't do anything to you. Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Wow, they added a little animation for Mario giving respect. I like that. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe? Bound for Keelhaul Key? Oh, yeah. Arf! If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off! Admiral Bobbery! Yes! The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there.
Alright, I think I have a choice. Because... I want to see Bobbery. No, I don't think Bobbery joins the party. I Bobbery joins the party during the fifth chapter, not before the fifth chapter. Darn. Hi, Mario. How are you? I'm uh good. No, very good. No, great. Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like, a place nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun! I'm jealous. Well, if you ever have time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise. From Petunia. An A. Yoo -hoo. Yeah, that was his life's letter. Sometimes something is just hard to do, okay? <laughs> I knew you would get Bobbery on board, you wonderful mustache man, you! To you, I must say ahoy! I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well! My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? No, not yet. Then take care of what you must, you dragon game corps. The sea awaits us! I want to have Miss Mouse in my party, okay? Oh, this is a light game like that. Oh, you just got Shinobi? Okay, cool. Oh, this light. Oh, there is, is a light game on Xbox. Haha! <laughs> uh, Red remembered your comment, Red. He's like, finish eating the kids, by the way. <laughs> nice. That's funny. That's really funny. So. So, did you just buy Shinobi? I thought you already had Shinobi. Also, like, if it's on Xbox, did you get it using the Game Pass on Xbox, or did you just buy the game? What? Oh yeah, this is real? Oh, for like, four euros? Okay. How much is the US dollar to the euro? I don't know. <laughs> is it, I think the euro is like, more powerful than the US dollar, currently. Like, the pound of the euro is stronger than the dollar, I believe. I'm the first to buy the roll ahead. <laughs> Are you serious? You're the first to buy the, uh, buy Shinobi? That's so funny. I have no view of this really funny. Oh, Shinobi is a really dead game. Like, wow. You're just doing it for your, because of your dad. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna judge you for that. Oh wait! I don't even even need to do this. I have, I have a uh, Adonis now. What did you do? Oh, thank goodness! I have first strike. No. Oh, I did hit you. Aha. I like this. You guys are all low-level monsters. I can just bonk you. Oh, 
feel so nice to just bonk them and just not have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to make another trip here to uh, Quick Tales Castle, uh, mainly because there is something to unlock double ranking with partners. And it's only in Hooktail Castle. Like, Hooktail Castle is like literally, apparently, just the one place that you will visit multiple times for different reasons. And it's like, really? Tales lair where she she was. And, uh, no, I saw that. No, no. You, ain't, you, ain't doing, you ain't doing that, buddy. You ain't doing that. Level one done. Good job. Proud of you, buddy. How many levels are there actually? to use before you get the better attacks, but, uh, clearly, uh, clearly I simply need to get good, because I only got one before. I'm not good with drawing one left sleep for that console. Dang, Koops just jumped, guys. Koops just like, well, bye. Man, you finish it pretty freaking quick, bro. Oh, so you... Oh, yeah, that's right. You've done most of those. You played it with your dad. You just... You've never beaten it, though, right? Like, you didn't, like, beat the last level. That's what I mean. Oh, you've never beaten it. Ah! No, darn it! I missed the timing. died like three times just now or you just died once you can't carry any more items use or toss something uh, I'll use a mushroom use okay well clearly I need to like use some items and stuff or I could store them in the item shop. Died yet? I've died three times. Fam, what the heck? Already? So you're back at level one? Wow, Shinobi ain't... <laughs> Shinobi ain't no joke. Sheesh. Well, I hope you can beat it.
Oh, update! The bruise on my left tongue is way better than before. Gargling the stream really does help. Yeah, tongue is way better than before. Got an elusive badge. Alright. Isn't there, like, something here? Like, a, like a little hidden tile for me to get, like, you know, a star piece? Maybe it was just me. Uh, uh, what? Whoa, 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 what? Just kicking? Like just one move? That's wild, dude. That's really wild. Let me know if the volume's too much or too. I'm uh, not too much. Does it mean you found the badge? Well, this is certainly the badge that I was looking for. Oh my, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hit that badge. 
It was a little game of mine. I have to apologize, but I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge finding skill than I do. I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Because, mm hmm, I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now, about that reward. Let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. You got an Attack FXB badge. Now, let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Oh, you keep dying at the first boss? Aw, oh, no. Hang in there, buddy. Miss Bowles joins your party! Miss Bowles' abilities are premier. Fine. Press X that Miss Bowles will sniff the surrounding area. If there are any items or objects in nearby, she'll point you toward her general direction. Press X to have Miss Bowles check for anything in the air. Hmm, yes, there should be something nearby. If there is an item or something of interest nearby, her nose will twitch. Now use X again to have her check the air again. There's something right near us, sweetie. Her reaction will change depending on the distance to the item. That concludes this primer. Do you feel like you've mastered this mouse's ability? <laughs> right, yeah. In battle, she can attack enemies with Love Slap. She can also help out by using Kiss Thief to steal an enemy's item. You solved the trouble! Now we need to go to Merlin and rank up this mouse. <laughs> Bobbery is the last partner I get in the game, unless they added something new. Like, this Mouse is actually the last partner you can get. <laughs> but you can get her before you get Bobbery, which is funny. I'm getting up there in years, so I want me some insurance. A life mushroom. I'm in no big hurry, but sometime before my time comes would be nice. Please meet me in the Great Tree in Bodley Woods. I'm gonna take on the pu puny, elders puny Elders Trouble. Alrighty then, let's go to the Bogley Woods! So you'd help me out, right? I'm counting on you. I'm getting on here, so I'd feel safer if I had a life mushroom around. Oh, glory! You got one! A life mushroom. Lovely! Thank you, Marty O. And you made it before I actually needed it. Phew! Here, take this reward. A life mushroom is like health insurance. I'll live a long life now, for certain.
Good luck. Good luck, Brad. is now having its grand opening event. Whee! Whoever takes this request gets a token of appreciation from Lala, a cute kitty boo. That's me. We are waiting on Rogueport's west side, so please come quickly. Wanna take on Lala's trouble? Oh, shoot! I didn't realize there were kitty boos! I thought that they were just boos wearing cat ears, like the headband. mind blown right now like is it is there actually such thing with kitty boos i know that like cat boos from super mario 3d world wait were, were, were there cat boos in super mario 3d world Ooh. hi hello there mario welcome to the parlor oh you took on my trouble that is so super well Okay, here's your token of appreciation. Hee <laughs> hee, don't tell anybody. Hey, what's the matter? You look disappointed. Ten Piatti coins of appreciation are way better than just one. So go on, enjoy the parlor. Play and win. Thanks. That was it. That was, that was not even a trouble. It was more of just like... I just want to give you free stuff. A sweet kitty boo. <laughs> nope, that's Bobbery's home. My bad. I need to go to the trouble center. Me, Daddy! I need you to save my dad! I'll be waiting at the entrance to the pit of a hundred trials beneath the road for it. If you help me, I'll give you my treasure as a reward. A member's card for Pianta Parlor. Wanna take on Pine T Jr.'s trouble? Yes. Do it and do it right. Okay, so officially, officially, I will be going to the pit of hundred trials. I am tempted to see how far I could go with my current level and abilities. Um, I feel like I might just try and go for it because there, there is a, see, there is a uh, secret boss, and it is at the hundredth level of the pit of a hundred trials. We're gonna see. I have a decent amount of like badge points and all that stuff. So. Fudge. I did not mean for that to happen.
Oh, from earlier? Um, no. I don't think I could say that. If you truly enjoy it, I don't think you're broken. I think your mental fortitude is just extremely strong. Would that be considered mind-breaking or just giving in to pleasure? Now that's the real question. <laughs> Bruh, right, right. I'm like, oh man, I blew my own mind. No, there's a coin! I forgot I got the coin, okay. Wait, what? I don't have Bobbery, but whatever. You took out my trouble? Oh, thank the stars! This is just terrible! My dad went into the pit of a hundred trials, and he never came out. He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the pit's treasure. But I don't need treasure, I just want my dad back! Please help him. Deepest level reached zero. Oh yeah, it keeps tabs. Alright, let's go. Now I need to think about this. Good. Think about your life choices. That's a glue. Man. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Oh. That's a Gloomba. It likes dark, damp places. Max R plays a 7, attack is 3, and defense is 0. It's stronger than a normal Goomba, so be careful. That's not a healthy color for a Goomba, but it doesn't mean it's sicker. So don't show any mercy! Five. I get clear bonuses for this? That's awesome. I might actually just try and go the full hundred levels. What is this? Get a hundred trials level one. I think he should be around like level 20 or level 30. I struck first? Wait, wait. My first strike damage does nothing? One hit from best of the boss? Aw, oh, shoot. Sorry to see that. Man, this makes you want to play the Pit of Hunter Trials mode because you're getting clear bonuses. Are you gonna try it again, Red? Yeah, I. I yeah, same thing. Besting the boss, beating the boss. Same thing. Yeah, you're not stopping? That's the spirit, man. Hope you get it. Like, genuinely hope you get it. Beat him up! There we go. Ah, shoot! I missed, it. Uh, I missed the super dead. Oh, 
for the multi-bomb. Redo the championship in Glitzville, because if you didn't know, after you beat the chapter, apparently your championship title gets, like, reset. You got it? Nice! Good job, bro! Proud of you, buddy! Like, I mean that. Good job! Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep that momentum going. Give me money, I'm getting so many coins. Uh, this is a bit of a hundred trials. That pipe just seems to lead down forever. Still, the air seems kind of fresh here. I guess it's flowing down from above, huh? Wild flower. Oh, shoot. I should use items. I am running out of space. I didn't even store items in the item shop. He was a crushed can. Is that a toad? Bad toad. Alright, fire flower. That's all I need. I was like, huh? Spinny at least. Alright. Bam! That is what we're talking about. Bam! Yeah! Let's go. Let's 
switch things up with the normals now. Toad's dad isn't there. Okay, fine. Ooh! A Paragloomba! Down there ever makes its wings moldy. Ugh. It's too gross to even think about. <laughs> Might as well use a fire flower. Nine. Oh, next up is hard points, then we get badge points the previous level up. Um swap the creeps. Oh, I can just super hammer. I just forgot, I was like, oh I could just super hammer. Boss, nice, good job, proud of you, proud of you. Keep it up, keep it up. Saved it. You saved your lives? Wait, no, we'll do it. Save it in the previous one? It's an arcade game. I thought you couldn't save it it's an arcade. Unless, like, the one on Xbox is like, you can save for something. Like oh, uh, you can save it on Xbox? Okay, that's actually, that makes things easier then. Nice. 
Does it save the- does it save the instance so that means like, say you still have two lives remaining, right? It'll save that. And then they're like saving it per boss, like, per section. So like, if there was four levels and then you beat a boss, is that when you can save or can you save at any time? Yeah. You know how like, some games have selective saves while other games was like, you can save any time anywhere. Just curious about that. Save at any time? That just makes it sound like it would be a very enjoyable arcade game to play. You know what's a game I want to play but I never got into? It's, the, it's something called The Messenger. Epic Games had it for free once and I missed the chance to get it for free. And then there's The Messenger DLC. Spiders have five heart points each. That's already annoying enough as it is. Okay, you've gotten used to the, like this first boss or the second boss? Getting that rhythm in is important on arcade runs anyway, so just keep going, bruh! Super guarding the enemies, so I'm not like taking too much damage. I realized that I've gotten good at Paper Mario without in your door. Huh. Good job to me, though. the audience for running from that. I messed up the multi-bomb pretty freaking bad. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, there he is! There's the toad stand. There's a beaten up me lying on the ground. Huh? What? Who are you? Ah! Wow, did you come here just to save me? Really? Pine Tea Jr. did? Wow, in that case, I have to get back to him alive. Show me the way out! Right before that dark puff hits me. Oh. Yeah, it's a good thing all of my partners are like, like first, like one shot, like ranked up. All my partners in my party are ranked up. At least one Shine Sprite. <laughs> hey! The exit! Okay, Pine Teen Jr., I'm on my way home. Alright, I'll see you there. Ah, oh, I got a fire drive. Nice. Alright, I'm on floor 20. I got like 80 more floors to go. Ooh, a spiky Gloomba. Oh, and a boo? Spiky Gooba. It's a spiky Gooba that likes dark places. That's our point seven. Attack is four, and defense is zero. The attack is pretty high, huh? I'm sure you know this, but try not to jump on the spikes. I wonder if it can look like that. I sneak down here long enough. What up? Did you beat the? Did you beat it? Did you beat the second boss easily? I'd rather not think about that. Are there tennis salons in Roadport? There are people from like the 2000s score here. Whoa, for real? Wow, they must have ported like the scores from the arcade games there. That's awesome! Let me see. Alright, let's do Heart Attack. This time, I'll try and get excellent. I have the sixth best overall score. Nice! Good job! Is that from just the first part? Did you like complete a full run? Or is it the score you have right now with as far as you got? Like you didn't beat the game yet, did you? I think it's just Xbox? Oh, okay. But, but from the 2000s, just score everyone now, okay, but like... But you just said there's people's high scores from like the 2000s. That must mean they must have compiled all of them in there, right? Right? That's what would make sense to me. No! Oh! I don't like this. I don't like the odds of this. They're gonna steal money from me. I don't like this. Oh my god. Oh, this is when I use Boo Sheet. This should not get into the Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Oh shoot! Oh wow! It's lucky. Oh no, Goose is down for the count. Alright, 
good. I, I'm glad I had some uh, Bushi. There we go. Let's go. Can I super guard them? Even though I have Bushi tactic? Oh, I guess it's because Bushi literally says the opponent's attacks will not hit me. some water burger ordered on the app because today they are doing triple points for your uh, online orders which is cool so I can use that towards uh, free reward in the future. Um, feeling kind of peckish might go to Taco Bell because they have Tuesday drops and they have the $1 Katina chicken taco. Um, barely. A lot of my friends got affected by this store. Two of our mutual friends, uh, one of our mutual friends had a tree fall on their window. Luckily enough, it didn't shatter the window. It literally, when the tree fell down, it was long enough to reach the house, but not hit it hard. It literally was like, the leaves, it was the only thing that hit the window. It was crazy. Um, my coworker showed me that one of the like patio roofs in their backyard flipped over. And in their area, a lot of fences were destroyed. And it wasn't even like tornado, it was like tornado warning. Yeah, they are okay. As far as I know, everyone I've talked to that have been affected by the storm are okay. Um, I remember uh, my internet provider or my utility company, the utility company that's in charge of uh, my electricity, um, they said they would do a scheduled maintenance midnight to 6 a.m. today. I remember being awake, and I don't remember the brownout ever happening, so I don't know if they're going to do it tonight or whatever. Okay. 60 mile hour winds? Oh, shoot. 
I am extremely fortunate that I was not involved with that. Actually, like, legitimately, like, wow. That's wild. 60 mile per hour wins? Oh, yo, Zach, would you like to, uh, if you, I don't know if I talked to you about this, would you be interested in volunteering for Anime Fest and reaping the benefits of being a volunteer for Anime Fest? It's at the end of August, like August 20, 26th to the 31st, whatever, the four-day con, just like Anime Expo. And if you volunteer, you get it for free. I don't know if you're interested in that or not. It'd be cool if you can. Because I know, uh, one of our mutual is going to uh, be there. Alright, yes! I was waiting for the level up. Let's go! I'm currently doing the Pit of 100 Trials. Where's that one? Well, that one is in Arlington, Texas. They moved from Dallas, Texas to Arlington, Texas. They will be at the Lowe's Live. I'm volunteering this year. Uh, again, because Anime Fest, Akon are like the two cons I always volunteer for. And it's like, it's the lowest live, it's wild. Volunteer enough, you get like a, a sweet. I feel like volunteer over like 24 hours or something. Maybe, okay, I'll keep, I'll keep you updated. Shoot, a mini Mr. Mini and an Ultra Shrew? Uh... Okay, no, it's a Super Shrew. Okay, I'm not afraid of that. I'm afraid of the mini Mr. Mini. It still works in my favor. I can Earth Tremor. I can Earth Tremor. I can Earth Tremor. I can Earth Tremor. But yeah, no, if you could join me for Anime Fest, that'd be awesome, Zach. It'd be fun. It'd be fun to hang out with anyway, so just thought I'd let you know. Let it be known that I appreciate my friend Zach very much. He is a very good friend to me. It is announced on stream for the whole world to see. And I am not retracting that statement. Because I appreciate friends. Ah! Alright, that's not enough to kill the spiky Goomba and the Boo behind the one in front. But at least I got rid of the Boo with the Mini Mr. Mini. Okay, so the... Oh. It's kind of annoying. Alright, let's try this again. Multi-bomb. Two, three, four... Ah, I couldn't get one before. Whatever. Um, not scared of the spiky Gloomba, because I'm used to Gloomba shenanigans. Let's see this, let's see this. Come on, I dare you. Oh, I was lucky! Broseph! Is that what happens when I become a higher level and my luck's just there? You know how there's, like, the luck stack in the uh, Mario and Luigi games? Alright, so it starts my slow descent to leveling up. Alright. Well, that was a decent uh, battle. There's one of the fighter players. I do not like that. You know what? Let's do heart attack. Shoot. Yeah! Excellent! Hey! Hey, Red! How are you doing on your, uh... How are you doing on Shinobi? Oh, are you saying hello to Zach or me? Oh, it's too late for Shinobi? What do you mean it's too late for Shinobi? Wait, there's a new Assassin's Creed game? What is the new Assassin's Creed game? I needed to, like, dedicate my day for... Oh, you're too tired. That's fair. 
That sounds like a very taxing game, because it's an arcade game, but it's really hard. Uh, you're talking to me right now, Zach. You just proved yourself wrong. Talk about being a hypocrite, am I right, guys? Ha 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 Oh, not a new one, just a new one to me. Oh, it's a new one to you. What's the second TV game? Is it the Black Flag or whatever? The pirate one? Or what could it be? There's one set in Japan that's coming out? Wait, has Assassin's Creed, like, done, like, a Japanese setting, actually, now that I think about it? Like, genuinely, like, did they? I'm playing the AC Unity? Assassin's Creed Unity? Is there something specific about Assassin's Creed Unity? Oh, you don't think? Oh, shoot. My phone keeps all the to your wrong name. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize you spelled my name wrong, Zach. What the fudge? Is it the hundred dollar? There's a Assassin's Creed game that's a hundred dollars. What the fuck? Why is it a hundred dollars? Like I know Assassin's Creed is the whole franchise, but what the fuck? Hundred dollars for one game? Man, they're really milking it. Oh, okay. Oh shoot, that's a Vulture. Oh fuck, I gotta get rid of that one. Uh. I have two star power. I will use Earth Tremor. Why the freak not? All Assassin's Creed games on a like 80% discount? 80% discount on Steam or Xbox? I'm assuming you're playing on Xbox right now, so uh, it's on like Xbox? 80% discount on Xbox? Wait, not yet on- oh, not yet on Steam? Yes for Xbox? Are you saying not yet for, uh, Steam Rent? Yay, one star point. Yay, I have five star points. Next up is my flower points. They will get the buff. I will be annoyingly strong by the end of this. The Pit of 100 Trial is gonna make Mario and parties just insane. Also, you got- oh, you want- you got Watch Dogs too. And recently got Steep, which I don't like. What is Steep? Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have hit that bob on. Like a sport game with snowboarding, parachuting, stuff like that. Oh! Oh, shoot. Alright, you know what? I should really just take care of the boo with the mini Mr. Mini. I think I can handle the bob off. Okay, guarded it. That's oh, I couldn't super guard that. I do not know the because Google has a 14 out of 20. Let me try to make it off and... Almost, almost. I could do this super good. Oh, we're lucky! <laughs> It just zoomed past as the blue backstage. Oh, you're not- oh, you're talking about the Japan thing. Okay, the new Assassin's Creed that will set place in Japan is not there. Uh, do you play Assassin's Creed? I do not. I do not play Assassin's Creed. I think it is cool, but I do not play it. It's only- like, like, there's only, like, one Assassin's Creed on a Nintendo platform. It's like Assassin's Creed Black Flag for Wii U, and I never got that. Right? Am I wrong? Zap tap badge. Mario's looking tired about dealing one damage damage. They touch it. Bro, that's wild. <laughs> hey, 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 yo! I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. Thunder Rage. I would like. That's two hundred. Fire flower for one hundred. Oh, it's because if I leave the pit of a hundred trials, I have to start from the beginning. That's why this dude is up charging me. What the fudge? 
it's so annoying. I'll drop 200 for the Thunder Rage. The surprisingly low price for this Thunder Rage is only 200 coins. Wanna buy it? Sure, you freaking cheapskate. It's a good thing I'm getting clear bonuses from these battles. Otherwise, I probably would not have bought it. I need to expand out of Nintendo? Eh, yeah, I do, actually. I've been thinking about getting a PlayStation, because I love anime games, like Persona. Um, but unfortunately, I just do not have the space for another console. And even if I did, I'd be struggling for space. <laughs> like, absolutely being serious, I'd be struggling for space. Uh, oh, I could buy another one? I have one Fire Flower? Oh, I don't know when I got that. Oh shoot, it even has my item counter up there, 14 out of 15. Thank you so very much, you got yourself a good deal there. I kid you not. No, I didn't! You are set for the future with that item, my man. Come back real soon. Bonky. I know you're freaking right. Oh! Can I just, oh wait, uh, Odyssey pretty cool. Yeah, Super Mario Odyssey is good. It's so fun. I was going to completely beat it, but then I forgot about it. Come on, just throw it behind the TV. I mean, if you saw my setup, it isn't that easy, Red. Sailor Blade's the one for a PlayStation, right? Like, there's this, like, there's, like... I've seen commercials for it in Japan. Like, the first time I saw Stellar Blade, it was in Jap I was in Japan, like, earlier this year. Like, when I went to Japan, I saw it, like, at the game places. I saw Stellar Blade in Japanese. I'm like, what the heck? And then my friend Kaicho was like, yeah, no, that's been a thing. I was like, what the fuck? No. Who is you? What are you? What are you? What is this Koopa? Oh, a Parabuzzy Beetle! Okay, we got some new enemies now. Because I'm, I'm in the 30s now. On... Oh, it's Dark Koopa. I bet it has the same abilities as a Shady Koopa, though. That's a Dark Koopa. It lives in dark places that the light never reaches. Max Hard Points is able to find his four defenses, too! Whoa, 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 whoa! It's a bit tougher than a regular Koopa, so you won't be able to beat it easily. But it does have the same weakness as a regular Koopa. Flip it over, and it's helpless. Why do you think it needs sunglasses down here anyway? What's the point? Okay, so it's not a Shady Koopa. Because if it was, I would genuinely be sad. <laughs> Let's do multi-elements. Ah, oh, shoot. I can do it. Oh, we both sides have missed. Oh, shoot. Let's guard. I can't. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, good, 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 good. Yo. Yeah, big booty girl. Oh, pretty sure I'd like that dude. Like, yeah. Just search it up and she doesn't. <laughs> I love how Red was like, I have to confirm this. Yes, she does have a big butt. <laughs> That's funny. Thanks for educating me, guys. I saw a little bit of the trailer for Stellar Blade. It's recent, right? If I get a PlayStation 5, I would probably get that game, just because you said that Zack and Red. That's a pair of buzzy, a buzzy doodle with wings. Max off like 5 times 3 and you get the score. I guess the stats are just like a buzzy. Fire explosions seem to have no effect, so don't bother, okay? When you flip it over, its defense just goes down to zero, so jump on it first. Sarah Blade is sick, and if you want, there's an unlockable bikini. What? You've got my neurons activated. My big booty sauces are always correct. <laughs> yeah, you right, Zach, you right, you right. How I, how could I ever doubt you? Okay, we're going to multi -dance. Bro, I forgot we have this! Oh my gosh, Gubella is gonna go in danger. Oh shoot. Nah, it's not worth using the Thunder Rage. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought someone. Okay. Alright. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, I flipped the Buzzy Beetle. Can we just jump on this Koopa, please? No! Oh, thank god, it's super guarded. Oh shoot. I was about to. Gubella was a. Ah! That's a three. Oh shoot. In case Miss is gone, oh my gosh. Oh shoot, uh, Gubella was gonna take a four to the face legitimately. Oh shoot. Knock you out. All right, so now we're in the clear. I should, on I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Wait. Oh, that's yeah, okay. All right. I'm gonna use this turn to use Sweet Tree. Bingo time! Refill all my star power in three, two, one. 
fudge! I couldn't get it. I couldn't get the bingo, guys. I suck at that. I really do. Okay, we're gonna do sweet treat. Sweet treat. Legitimately, we need a sweet treat. We need to recuperate our flower points. Right here and... Oh. Almost like that poison tree. We need more... Flower... Ah, no! Ah! Darn it! I thought I wasn't gonna hit the poison shroom! Alright, got some decent amount of flower points and health back for Goombella. Because Goombella genuinely needs it. Ah, oh, shoot. I can't get the Super Guard timing for those. Those are those. I'm pretty sure I might have to use a mushroom. We added new uh, enemies to the uh, catalog, so yeah. Alright, before I continue, you no, know, that's the party menu, that's the badge menu, that's the journal, that's the gear. Okay, let me give Goombella the mushroom, because she definitely <laughs> needs it. Oh, we got a hyper cleft? Hypercleft or hyperball? Uh oh, we got a Shady Koopa. Oh shoot, we got a Shady Koopa. Ladies and gents, we got a Shady Koopa on the battlefield. It is imperative that we do not knock that Shady Koopa on its back, because uh, as the name implies, and as we saw in the last stream, it can decimate me and my partner. <laughs> so I guess we will start off with this. Start off with an Earth Charm. Oh, I probably could have done Art. No, I didn't have enough Star Power for Art Attack. Wait, did I? Because if I did, I would have just done Art Attack. Earth Tremor may have been a bad idea. At the very least, I will take out the Hyper Clefts that stand before me. Because the last thing I need is a whopping 9 attack swinging at me when I suck at Super Guarding the Clefts. And even if I just regular guard it, it wouldn't be enough. It would be 1 minus the actual attack. Better, better just knock these guys out as quickly as possible. Alright, now I can do it. Just basic headlong. Two star points, that's fair. I did have four star power. I could have done art attacks. Oh well. It's whatever. I was really heavily debating whether or not to the Pit of 100 Trials, but it seems like I'm doing pretty freaking well. And the reason why is because if I get the 5th Crystal Star, I unlock Sweet Feast, which is basically an improved version of Sweet Treat. I need you. Oh. I do not like that. Okay, we'll do Earth Tremor again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Earth Tremor knocks the Shady Koopas on their back, so I'm probably gonna have to deal with a uh, really nasty attack from one of the Shady Koopas. Wait, you know what I realized? I'm probably gonna have done Fog Out, but there's the risk of some of the enemies not being stopped by Fog Out, so I guess this is the safest bet. Yes, I Oh, okay, cool, cool. First Tremor does not the, does not knock the shitty Koopas back in the back. Oh, how did I do that? Alright, it was just three. Mario's at 35. I gotta remember that Mario is like the buffest character out of all the party members right now. Eight star points, that's actually not bad. Alright, we're getting up there. Hopefully I can level up uh, before uh, I run out of resources. So far I've been doing good with resources and my abilities seem to be 
proving itself with super guards and guarding. Oh, cool. Hey, what's up? I'm a mover. I know a few things about getting through this dungeon. For a few coins, I can move you where you want to go. Where do you want to go? Uh, never mind. The reason why I say never mind instead of moving levels is because there are enemies that you can only find in the Pit of 100 Trials, and I want to record them in my catalog, which is why I am not requesting help from the mover, which oddly looks like someone from the Boggy Woods. <laughs> Ooh, a pink fuzzy! And I did a strike first. Nice. Too simple special offensive move. The dark he got six hearts. Only get one to do this. And then we're No! Ah, oh, fudge! I predicted my failure, guys. Ah, oh, fudge. Okay, all right, Rubella, come and clutch, please, clean up my mess, because I can't... Just clean up my mess, please, clean up my mess. Just clean up my mess. I don't know how I'm going to survive, like, the secret boss, because the secret boss is freaking deadly. Like, it's very deadly. <laughs> I am not dealing with two hyperclefts and a buzzy beetle. It all depended how well I did multi-bonk. I, I screwed it up. So it's like, yeah, no. Mm. Also, I might have to check my mail. I might check my mail later. Can I... Yes, there we go. Actually, I might check mail after this battle. No, thank you! Thank you for the power punch! Legit, thank you for the power punch. Audience members, the VIP right now. Alright. Can I do this? Yeah. 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 
There we go. One Buzzy Beetle down. That's good, that's good. There we go. Getting those uh, Super Super Guard times down. Ah, oh, fudge! You have an Earthquake! Gosh. Oh, my partner was lucky, but I took the five. All right, fine. Be that way. Thanks for letting us know you're getting naked, right? All right, I, oh, mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay, let's go ahead and try to take out this shame Cooper. Okay, I can do awesome. Yes, we got missed. We have missed on our side. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. I messed it up. Okay. There we go. I have to wait for the shell to collide with my body. I want to take care of it. I have to take care of it. Getting naked in your bed? Do you sleep naked on your bed? Okay. I sleep with pajamas. Oh, I just said I would check the mail after this. Oops. Oh. There's a bit darker in there. Oh, I should probably see it. Oh, shoot! Ah, oh, I messed it up. <laughs> Monster breathe? Bro, I do that in the shower. Okay, nice. Okay, that was enough. Enough to take out the Shady Cooper. Okay. Nice. I only have two flower points left? That's why I got You let your wee wee out to breathe. That's what you mean by that, right? Yeah. The guy's wee wee, their shaft, their sword, their katana. <laughs> only when you're in the shower. Yeah, I only do that only when you're in the shower. Or changing clothes. Or I was like just taught to wear pajamas. Even my dad does that. Me and my parent, well, my dad like just wears like comfy pajamas and go to sleep. Sorry. Right? Whoa, I'm on floor 40 now. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> you got a pity flower badge when Mario takes damage in battle, occasionally cover one flower point. That is funny. That is so funny. Alright. This is the uh this is a bit of hundred trials, but I don't see any enemies in this room. At least there's a pipe to take us back to the entrance if you want to bail. And again, we'd have to fight our way back down to this level again. Better think it through before we do anything hasty, you know what I mean? Uh, okay. Nope. 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 It's up. It's up on the D-pad. Okay. Jam and jelly. Yeah, I think I might need to use a jam and jelly. Eh, nah, anyway. I would, I would wear my underwear, but all, but they're all wet because I watched your stream. What, like, what do you mean? 
Like you were sweating for me, like being a sweaty gamer for me. All right, I'll be right, be right back. I'm gonna check the mail. I'll be right back. Be like a Western break too. Ooh. Hello. I'm joking, by the way. I bet you were.
So any ladies? Maybe. Maybe there's some watching. Who knows? Sorry guys, I'm just catching up with social media real quick. Yeesh, that's what we call a joke, huh? Yeah, that's right, Rit. Feel like a survivor, feel like- Oh shoot, I forgot to do something, I'll be right back. I forgot to uh, do something very important to protect myself from thieves. Now I will be like I'll be gone for like two minutes. No, do not do that to my house. How dare? What the? Get out of there. Somehow a spider crawled up there. My little stand. Oh, well, I flicked it. Stand? Spider? Jojo! I started watch, actually watching JoJo at the JoJo's bar in Japan. I only watched a couple of things. I think it was like Golden Wind. Anyway, let's continue the trek. In the 40s now. Wish me luck, guys, in the 40s. I don't know if I can take on Bone Tail. Oh! Why? Get mocked! Oh. This is a dark paratrooper. Lives in dark damp places. Max on points is 8 times 4 and 52. He's strong, but otherwise, he's like other paratroopers. He's airborne, so try to ground him first. Spike and wait. Max Power Punch Spike and Wing Defense is 4. Hey! The same stats as a normal Buzzy! Fire and explosions don't work in Buzzy, in case you forgot it. Ugh, we're shit. This one flies in the air and another spike. You better be off using an item or a special move to take it out. Uh, you read you loud and clear. I just wanted to add those two enemies to the catalog. And it's time for our attack.
Such a good move. Take out that Koopa there, so I'll just move it with the You should not download that extension. What is the name of that extension? Nice! Huh? The name of the extension you want to download, but it's not good for you to do, which I highly suggest you don't do that. You shouldn't download it. Oh shoot, I sneezed right when I missed this guy. Export, I think? Alright, then don't download it. <laughs> it's a brainwashing section of Tom Turner Research. Okay, then don't download it. <laughs> but my answer remains the same, don't download it. Sounds fun. Uh, don't. Just, just don't. What are you saying? Just don't do it. Just don't. Uh, poison token. Okay. Uh, hmm. We may be in trouble. Why not? Because it could mess up your computer and it'll do it. That's a poison Pokemon. As you probably guessed, it's a poisonous Pokemon. Max Hot Points today's time is 40 to do it. If you get poison, your heart points will slowly drain, so you may want to avoid that. If you 
you can see this, but they have spines all over, so don't touch them. They'll be spines, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. Heart attack! The web, knowing that has quite a kick in there, certainly screws up as well, but it's windows and very much in the That's what it says? Yeah, don't do that. Nah. I don't know anything about this book, and I think you shouldn't do that. If you want to do it, then do it on a dummy computer. It's so tempting. It doesn't seem tempting to me personally. I don't think you should do that. Right, I don't think you should do that. <laughs> Yeah, he would. Oh my goodness. Star points from that? Hey, let's go! I leveled up! Oh no, I'm a virgin. No, I have not experienced that.
while you were silent, you looked at that? Oh, okay. You barely look at that red? Well, with all the gain you're getting, yeah. The tab's still open? That's funny. Ah, uh, yes I did. I mean, that makes sense, I mean, because if you're having the intercourse, I have done the BDSM test. You know, that makes sense, that's, that's, that's the way it goes, but like, you know, I can't get gained in my life from this, yeah. Sucks. The what test? The BDSM test. I thought, I thought I told you already that I did. I got my it was back in university or like a little bit after university. After I graduated university and I am pretty much 99% Switch and uh, Vanilla. Yeah, no, it basically is a kink test, I guess, if you want to put it in slang terms. I guess. Darn it, I didn't get the bingo. Oh, yeah. Um, Slowly chipping away at these dark Koopas. The Rice Purity Test! I've done that too! I've actually done the Rice Purity Test. The last time I did it was like in university. And I got a well at the time. Not anymore though, like I'm pretty sure I would probably be like a 42. Now, like I haven't, I haven't taken the Rice Purity Test. But before in university, I was pure. Yeah, that's it. Like the Mile High Club. I'm like, I've never done that. I didn't know people could do that. There was one, there was a meme compilation where some dude recorded a couple, or these two people, go in the uh, airplane restroom. And apparently they did it in there. And uh, so the funny thing is all they showed was them going in and them coming out. The guy just recorded the entire thing. I thought it was super funny. Alright, so this is a bulky bob -omb, and that is one of the enemies you'll see in Chapter 5. That's a bulky bob -omb. I think it's like other bob -omb's, but it's huge! Max hard point is 6 times 2, the fifth is 1. It's weird. It never attacks, but once its fuse is lit, it'll blow up on its own adventure. That might take it taking itself out of the battle, but that explosion hurts us too. Oh, when it powers up, that attack power is 8, so watch out. Fire and explosions will make them blow up immediately, so I guess setting it off early is one strategy. You run two, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. Uh, or detect the... You've done it in the field, like, publicly, right? Getting the excellent on that one's hard. Yes, very public. Was it like a, one of those public events? Because I, I, my friend, my friend Ryan, he showed me that there are places where you can just go and it's like consensual and everyone just has a massive like intercourse party. He showed it to me. I was like, oh, hiding behind some bushes. Oh shoot, were you both trying to keep, to keep your like voice as well? Like, trying to keep your voices like not from going out like in hentai or stuff like that? I'm just very curious at this point. Hmm. Uh, I need to... Hmm. You know what? I mean like, cause like in... So, this is what I've seen from hentai. Like, if they're doing it in public, they're like, oh... Keep your voice down while they do it. Um, there are a ton of cards. Did people see you do it? Yeah, I was <laughs> All right. The goal is to take up three out of the four. <laughs> Not. 
I know you say that, but part of me literally thinks that they saw, but they decided not to say anything about it. Just part of me thinks that. I'm just saying. Perfect. We'll do Earthquake, because I don't want to deal with 2.0. I forget, Poison Pokies you see in Chapter 7. That's probably why I'm getting so many star points right now. Get a big red blanket over- Oh my gosh, I feel like that was super obvious though, Red. Just did the test. They wouldn't know it was us, but they probably knew it was two people. Said, yeah, of course! Oh my gosh. Alright. I'm going to need Coops. Shell shield! Assume stuff, bro. I'm pretty sure they saw. Oh, that's funny! There's still tissues there to this day? I doubt it. When did you do that? Oh, Mushroom, thank you, audience member. I bet the tissues are gone. They bet I'm pretty sure they're the bio. Like, if you're using regular tissues, they're like biodegradable. Yeah, no, I bet it's gone. I bet the tissues are probably gone at this point. Buried under dirt are already, like, turned to, like, organic. If the blanket was moving, it probably looked like someone was, you know, relieving themselves, bro, by the way. Uh, it was a year ago. 20! Bro, I'm gonna level up again before I freaking know it. Oh my gosh. I bet everyone forgot. Eh, maybe. Or having a nightmare. Eh, that is a possibility. <laughs> Stop trusting me, FD. Bro, I mean, like, you did it in public. What do you expect? You got a strange psychic item that lets you carry up to 20 items? Oh, shoot! I didn't know you get that in here! There was a lot of secrets I didn't know about the Thousand Year Door, but it's still, to this day, one of my favorite games. Alright. We're in the 50s, by the way. I didn't expect to be here. <laughs> We're doing pretty freaking good. Free level... Wait, for real? Someone with a camera came up? So yeah, people knew! Uh, if you're- if you're just gonna be still scared. The poop out of me. Wait, is that the same time you did it with the blanket, or is this a different time you did it in public? Why was he getting some sh- oh, it's a different time, okay, but why were you getting some shots? Why were you getting some- what the fuck? It's so weird! How are you getting shots? That's so weird! 
Alright, Goodbell, you're probably gonna take the bulk of this. Let's see this. That's an ice pub. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. My top one is high level scoring to 50 zero. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. If cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if you touch it when it's throwing cold energy, it will get hurt. Isn't that super weak? And it gets worse. It will absorb any ice attacks we throw at it. They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that. I'm in trouble. I'm in little trouble. Okay, we're gonna use Fire Flower, and we're gonna see. Will that double the power? Oh, it does one and one more. Shoot. I'm just gonna guard all of this. Shoot. Who bell is it? are in chapter, uh, chapter 7. So I'm facing enemies that I probably should not be facing right now. It's Shinobi time. You're going back to Shinobi? Really? 28 star points! Oh my god. I'm going to level up before I freaking know it. Fifties are scary, guy. Fifties are scary. Oh, these are from Chapter Seven. It's dark. Moon. Heart points of attack are high, but they're just like ordinary beams other than ones. So just attack it with a normal boot. Get it before it turns invisible. Alright, first tremor. Run with the I should search up the C if you know. What, the shinobi? Is it on PlayStation 2? Since doing the Pit of a Hundred Trials. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's go to badges. Fire Drive. The spike shield. I 
feel like I need this one. I should have enough heart points to handle some heart attacks, but the spike shield is definitely what I need. I might have to mix and match. Oh, shoot. There we go. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Nice. 14 star points. That's insane. Alright, I'll accept these. Show them PS2 or something else. Oh, okay. Water! Let me drink. Yeah, I drink. Let's find our way to the lowest level! Make sure I tattle on any enemies we haven't seen before, okay? Oh, that's a moon cloud! Those things are tough! That's right, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's a moon play. Shinobi, thanks for your That's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. Match our point to six to times five of the The cleft is high as usual, and the fire attacks are going to If you turn it over with an explosion, though, its defense goes down to zero. Did Game Grumps play it? I feel like Game Grumps did play it. Ninja Gaiden. Okay, Earth Tremor cannot miss, but I think it'll miss the Dark Boo. Okay. 
Wow, super guarded that. Nice.
I am very close to uh, Wow. 74 star points already. I'm not even at the 60 yet. Oh, I need to use that. Slow mushroom. Oh, nice. Wait, it's Mario and Party with the slow mushroom? Got a double dip badge? It's Mario used up to two items of love and battle. Oh, the double dip's really nice. Level 60! Alright. Okay. Doing good so far. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see some pretty scary opponents now. Oh, that's new! That is a new opponent. That is definitely new. What's a dark wiki do? Rides a rain cloud. My top point is uh, 13, attack is 5, and defense is 0. The attack is becoming spiny egg. Thing. It's holding up a spiny egg, when you jump on it, you'll get hurt. And sometimes the spiny egg throws to empty sky blue spiny eggs. Whoa. If you only attack the spiny eggs, you'll never win. So we'll have to be dark wiki to it. Lurking? Alright, appreciate it. Spiny egg thrown by the dark of Pizza. Match up with the 6, attack is 6, and the attack is 4. It will totally charge at you. Sometimes it balls up to defend and store energy for an attack. It can beat it, and anybody it may have with a special move. Okay, forget that. We're gonna do this.
gotta keep using sweet tree. By the way, this is level 61. Oh my god.
Oh, I just need two more star points. Whoa, wow. That was a lot. Good thing I gradual syrup and slow mushroom. By an explosion, will put a permanent end to it, getting it back up there. The dry bones will sometimes build friends of the field without a number. If you don't take them all out close together, they'll just keep coming back. And try to out all at once. Quick! This thing's totally freaking out. We've got a dark frog in the dry bones. This is not good for us. Shine Sprite, baby! Shine Sprite! Oh, come on. Oh, shoot! That was- Oh! We are in trouble. We are in trouble. We are in big trouble. If they keep making more, it's going to be impossible for me to, like, knock them all out. Son of a gun. Jesus. That's a lot of stuff. Because the dry bombs, you find those in the last chapter.
Pro. Next time I see a Dry Bones, I'm gonna make sure to, uh... I'm gonna make sure to choose Fire. <laughs> Get Fire Dry. I don't think I'm strong enough for this. It's a dark wizard. I think that's in the past. That's a dark wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries old thing. Max HP is a 10, attack is 5, and defense is 2. Use magic to attack to alter the positions of Sam Dark. There's only one left, they'll look up by itself to confuse you. I know they look totally goofy, but they're actually pretty tough at this Hiya! Crushing Shinobi right now? Awesome! Gotta be red. I am killing it in the pit of 100 trials, not gonna lie. Oh, it's a Frost Piranha! Customer with strong ice powers. Max heart points is 10, attack is 5, attack is 2. It's going to bright attack and freeze us, so try to immobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks too, so use them as well. So, don't need to think about using ice attacks. It'll absorb those. Okay, let's do this. Power lift. for defense. Frozen. 
fighting a battle in general. Nice! Do help me. Sprite? Spanning switch. Just so I can do it in the Because 
Because I need... I need to go. And I'm kind of used to the crawdaddy, so...
fiery jinx is insane. There's a rocket. No, I haven't yet. I'm actually just doing some side quests. I'm just enjoying the game. How's everything been? How was work today?
right decision to not do this. Uh, to not uh, take on this trouble until after chapter 4. Because I have literally everything in my arsenal. To probably be at the end of the game. Uh, Bone Tail's hard. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. Alright, thanks, man. Have a good one, man. Get some good sleep in, man.
I need defense. Can I? Do I have the ability to get defense? Oh, defend plus requires five. Boost defense by one of the six will. Oh, okay. All right, I'll do that. Learning. All right, I'm gonna have to do that. I want just fire drive. Fire drive is three. Zap tap. Pity flower. Double dip. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna need last game. Full start, yay. Thank you for the power of punch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Adonis is going to be gold. Stage get even bigger. Shoot, I'm on the A list now. Oh my god. I've leveled up like how many times? I think I've leveled up seven. Elger is welcome to the stream. Thanks for the first time chat. Uh, okay, well, thanks for the offer.
Wait, Chain Chomps are found in the palace. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
one of them. Nice. Okay. into them on the field? Bro, can I? Oh, it's like five. Got hey, man. Oh my gosh. 900 coins for this. That's actually not worth it. for me. Gosh dang, for an ultra mushroom? Come on. I'm in the 80s now, so we'll see how far I can make it.
Oh, you're in Pharrell. Oh, shoot. Dog 72. Uh, yo, hi. Want to be on a real grind? Sure. Uh, drop his link. I'll drop their link. I don't need it. I can do it for you, uh, Toxic Dog. That 900 coins really did save my life. <laughs> uh oh. Oh shoot! 
tells me I just leveled up. I don't know. Something tells me I leveled up. Something legitimately tells me I leveled up. I don't know why, but something tells me I leveled up. Okay, three. Let's see. Close call. Power rush. No. Partner. Oh, I have happy heart. I needed that. Drop their However, it can drop their defense to zero. Drop their defense. However, it can't drop their defense to two or more. Stay soft for longer, but then move the crap more. I don't know. I really don't know. Head rattle. Confused. Alright, I'll do that. Classic Piranha Plant. Wow! Those things were like... Oh no, there's a... There's a dark bristle. Shoot. Piranha Plant. Bro. Piranha Plants were like one of the basic enemies back in the first world time. That's a Piranha Plant. In fact, I think this is the strongest type of them all. Next up, this is fixing type of time to the zero. It's a type of power of absurdly high. And you're looking at the normal bonnet now. Don't be fooled, it's super tough. You can't even buy a flower, we'll never do the end of it. You know what I mean? BKG, yo, hey, welcome back to the stream. How you doing? Oh, uh, there is no way you're going to be tired. Genuinely, I know I'm gonna need that. 
Uh, switch. If you're talking about in general, there's like, uh, Nintendo 3DS, Wii U, Nintendo GameCube, Nintendo 64. Uh, yeah, there's actually a Paper Mario for almost every Nintendo device, by the way. Ha <laughs> 
Oh yeah, don't detect what we counter. Probably do power lift. Do the partners level up? Yes, they do. Thank you for the congratulations. And the partners do level up. Where level am I at? 88. Oh my god. I am 12 levels away from facing Bone Tail. They do, but you have to talk to Merlin. You have to level them up with Shine Strikes. All my partners are leveled up the best they can right now. No. Bad for our Yeah, nice. Uh, we can try to do artifacts. So many star points. God, lucky. During battle, enemies will often miss while trying to attack Mario. How many batch points does that require? Hold up. Seven! Why not? Alright, I took 
out. What was it? What is it? It took a power bounce. I don't need power bounce. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is the farthest I've ever gone in the pit of a uh, hundred trials. I just got ten more floors.
Mario kind of thick right now. Yeah, got a down on that, uh, that juice. That, uh, power punch juice. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god, a couple of DL forces. Furries and Thread. does that. Bruh! Gets blown away! Oh shoot, now that you mention that movie. 55 star points, that is the most star points I've ever gotten in one game. Oh my gosh. That was 91. That was 491. Yeah, I, I guess you were going to do
heal for us. Bro, that's what we were talking about. Still doing the trials? Yeah, they're tough. Uh, it leveled up. Hooray. These are tough. I don't know how I'm doing it with like bare bones equipment. I'm being serious. Power points. Yeah, 45 power points. Hooray, hooray. I really don't know how I'm doing this. Ninety-two. That was, bro. That was the ninety-second floor. Oh my god. Oh, you're new. What are you? That plus four defense when these things go off. That's a bubble. That's easily the biggest bob I've ever seen. Next up is ten attack is twenty attack is two. One attack is two is split up in the wall. So how does the how does the big point goes up? I mean, fall down to power of sixteen. That's no joke. Seriously, watch out for that. Let's go out to be able to pull out all the stops. Or you can just set it off early to fire your switch. Good call. Oh. And I am not dying from this. Oh well. Well, I missed the amazing Daisy. Okay, cool.
I didn't know what to do. I was like, what do I do? That boot came in close to the though. Man, I probably could have gotten so much money from the amazing daisy. What matters is I tapped it. That is what matters. I know. There's another enemy at. I was so not dealing with that. The moms need to be classified. Oh, the moms? Yeah, they do. They're adorable. That was close.
gonna keep using the of course. We gotta get one away. There we go.
is she doing? She's kissing them and sucking out their life force. Timing in? No, that's not it. That's not Puma. Puma's like the NPC. Like Puma's like Puma play us. I think like generic.
This is my first time ever encountering Bone Tail. Yeah, I'm gonna smash it with a hammer here like this. Oh, the music chord is scary too. Ooh. Wow, what a freak! We had two different definitions of Smash. Bonetail. What's Bonetail? She's the older sister of Hooktail. So old, she's just bone. In fact, wow, now that's old. The body's not nice hard. It's too hungry for attack as well as the is too. She has various dress that might be easy to put to sleep. And when a heart plant gets low, she'll recover from the enemy as the case may be. She's probably stronger than the basic final boss type. Seriously, let's do this right. No, I'm screwed. One more time. I can put play with a great sword or a short fighter. I don't know if that would work. Flurry seems to be my out here, so. It 
sounds like my zap tap doesn't even work either. Oh, well, of course that will happen. Making sure, but is there going to be a brownout? If so, I have my phone, but like. I didn't need to do the L4, so I didn't need to do the 
sevens. Brush my teeth because it's going to be midnight. So I'll be right back, guys. Hopefully, a brown out moment.
Hi guys. I'm back. I got my little lamp in case the power goes out so I can safely get to my room. Anyway. interested in that type of build, sure.
this truck back here. I legit have to take it like a man. Stupid fuck. The game fucked me over. Pardon my French, but that is fucking bullshit. Pardon my French. Pardon my language. I am so fucking pissed off. I spent four fucking hours doing amazing against Bone Tail, and then the game fucks me over with a poison mushroom. Bingo. That is so fucking stupid. There's nothing I can fucking do! Vivian took my fucking life mushroom! This is so fucking stupid! Oh wow! Big fucking look! I don't have any fucking flower points! Stupid ass bingo fucked me over!
the, the audience keeps fucking coming back and Did I break my Pro Switch controller? Because if I did, that was genuine rage, by the way. That is fucking stupid. Why would the game fuck me over like that? I know it's RN Jesus, but that is the fucking most fucked up shit I've had to fucking deal with. <sighs> what the fuck? Bullshit ass motherfucking piece of fucking shit. Yeah, thanks for giving the fucking game over! Start from- wait, try again? so glad they have a retry that last scene. Yeah, I have never cursed like that. I sincerely apologize for people that didn't expect me to curse like that. But that, my win was taken from me. I had spent five, I don't know how many freaking hours. I leveled up nine times. I got these priceless badges to use in battle. And you're telling me that because of some silly, stupid little bingo, I lose. That's it. Like, that is... I know sometimes it's like that, but it really frustrates me when I build something up, spend hours building it up, only for one small thing to topple it over. I will say, what the game did is completely fair. It is. That's how the game is built. That is the rules it has. I just have to deal with it. Does that mean I like it? No. Anyway. Guys, I sincerely apologize. If my family watches this, ooh, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. It's just sometimes, some things get under my skin, 
and that was one of them. Sorry guys, we need to calm down, drink whatever's left of the water in my water bottle, and go for it. I will say, I did not break anything, thank god. Luckily there is carpet on the f where my feet is, so it cushioned the impact. My Pro Switch controller is fine as far as I know. These can take a beating and for good reason. I just... That's just... That was just so angry. Now I have a strategy to defeat Bone Kill, so there's some positives. I told you guys I'm not a good person. Um, I'm just glad that they had to retry that last scene. To work. The whole look lot. She is. Bone Tail is strong. Still my favorite, one of my favorite games. It's just stuff like that gets under my skin. It's not like the over trigger and Kai Fight Vanguard because I'm prepared for that. I was not prepared for the poison mushroom game though. But now that I know I can retry the last scene, I am much more calm. Like I've calmed down and I see the light at the end of the tunnel. time streamer, I doubt anyone will ever see this part of the video where I just rage. Like, it, that was the that was worse than Chante's Risky's Revenge. And I did the wrong thing again. I chose Gale first instead of Rickrock. That was the dumbest move I've ever done.
still frazzled.
Sorry, just occurred to me what that was.
Thanks for reminding me of it.
insult to energy one star point I won I don't know how but I won oh my god no bone tail is the older sister of hook tail you got a return postage badge, does half damage back to enemies if they directly attack on them. Well, read them and weep, boys. Read them and weep. No, I didn't kill the family. There's still Gloomtail. Gloomtail is at the last chapter of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Well, you can tell that Bone Tail is still alive. The Cook Tail is still alive too. I, I mean, I don't know if I killed them or not, but. One measly star point for all of that effort. My dad's back. Sorry for troubling you. I guess health and family really are the most important things. You know, I'll look for new work. I've got to be strong for my dear son. Thank you so, so much. I'll give you my treasure as a reward. It's really important to me, but nothing's more important than my dad, so here. A silver card. Now, if you'll excuse me, and really, thank you so very much. I see you saw some Taiwan, Taiwan, Taiwanin merch? It's a little weird. Woo! 
I'm a mover. I know a few things going on there where I can take you straight to level 50. A little extra. Cost a little extra. No thanks. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Oh, that's not It is recorded. I, Godfred, have conquered the Pit of Hundred Trials in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door Remake for Switch. If it was on the original, it would be worse. Because if I had got if I had like got that game over where I got at Bone Tail, I'm pretty sure I would have started from the very beginning. Would have been devastating. Uh sure. I'll know he is the trial slayer. Yeah. It cost me a couple hours of sleep, but I did it. Freaking did it. I honestly feel so satisfied right now. I have never beaten the Pit of Hundred Trials, even on the original. So the fact that I did it feels really good. It was fun, it was frustrating, but man, that was one heck of a boss. <laughs> Mom, amp dissented clear file and notebook. Um. Armpit scented. Ew, this nice. Alright, guys. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done for this stream. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Good night. Thanks for sticking until the very end, Rit. Appreciate it very much. Thank you so much for. Oh my god. I'm level 26 now. Jesus. And I'm at Elia Star. That's really cool. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will continue streaming later today. Um, man, that was an experience. That was a wild ride. Oh, wow. Well, it be what it be. And what's funny, all right, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll try to take care of myself. It's crazy. I thought I would need post game to be able to do this, but guess what? I don't. That's what we're talking about. I'm speechless. That was amazing. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later today. Any rest. Peace.